Alrighty, new clip here. Or a new version. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's neat. Okay, hold on, hold on. There are a couple spots here. This one is, it's, you can see the spacing here, how it goes back, back, back. And then you have a bit of a bigger spacing here. I'm looking at the tip there. And then suddenly it sticks. And then we have a big move over here. And then it goes straight up instead of continuing. So those little spacing irregularities just kind of kill the weight a little bit. Since we're in the polishy phase. And then this one, there's, it, this is so heavy. It's going to take a lot for this to suddenly change direction. And you can see this here. We're, we're starting a bit of an arc that way. And then it kind of comes down straight and then suddenly over. And it's this this move this way that I'm not quite buying. And shoo, right there. So I think we can have that at the end, but I would continue that move. Not this here. You might argue, well, it's kind of maybe resting there, but it would be so heavy. It would push that arm and that elbow down. And then you're going to have that arc at the end. And not, the, not as the, this thing to change like that. That's the main thing I'm looking at is right now is the sword. So that's all cool. This one is a bit light, just a bit. I look at the spacing. Let's see here. It's that lift. Give this half the spacing and then a bit less. And then we're getting more into it. Then you can start accelerating. But just at the beginning whoop, has an ever so slight light feel. And it's, if you look at this corner here, you can see how it moves over there, over there, over there, over there. And then, whoa, it suddenly goes up. You can see that harsh move there. So we want to just make sure that all of these points there are just a bit smoother. And in terms of the character, let me see what that leg is doing. And I think that's okay. Goes up. I think that's okay spacing wise. Here you want to go. I mean, it's it feels like it's kind of resting on that leg, and then it's it's going through the wrists of how this is moving up. I wonder if it might be more believable that it's resting on that leg, and it's also the leg that pushes the whole thing up. So, like by now, that leg is up here, and the knee is did the, the heavy lifting. If that makes sense. I don't know if that's too broad of a change at this point. I'm just looking at it like how how is that character lifting? Because there's just it, there's a pull back, and then how does this realistically go up? And because it's not more like this or straight arm into a swing, this feels more like everything from this rotation up is coming through the wrist at the beginning. And since you're already lifting the leg, you might as well push this and make it make it look like. It's the leg that pushed this up, and then you can rest here into that. That's so cool. Let me just see something on the knee. I think that's okay. Just checking this knee here. I think so. There's a moment right there where the knee locks. Spacing-wise, it has forward, lock, and then continues a bit. So just watch out for a little spacing moments like that. It's not too bad. The rest of you got some good rotating feet. This feels a bit clunky here. What's going on? You got the back. Oh, here. Check the spacing on the head. Kind of goes a little bit to the left. And then, whoa, there we have a sudden pop to the right. And then after that, locks right there. See, that goes suddenly to the right. Boom, suddenly to the left. That stop is a bit better. And I think... I think that one's okay here. A bit fast. I think it's okay. Just watching this leg, how it goes up and forward. I think it's okay. I do love this here. That little That's all cool. Let me check the arms. That's cool. I like that. She goes and you might argue that this is a bit chest head locked where this feels like one unit i think you can like three frames earlier rotate the head back so 
and the head is further back. So it feels like the head is leading this, rotating back, takes the chest with it, shoulders and then arms into this. Watch out the spacing here. That arm goes and then hits a wall here. So I'm gonna go over shoot a little bit more. That's definitely better in terms of silhouette. There's only so much you can do here. It's a bit tricky with also the coloring, but I buy it and it's not too fast. It's almost too even in timing how the elbow goes over there. You might have slight variation in, in timing through there, just a bit faster and then lock, but it's cool. Here gets tricky because now we're starting to kind of break that wrist. I will go from this and then go and then that wrist is angled more aligned with the forearm and then the, the pivot comes from the fingers. So it's not such an IK wrist, especially here. That feels just broken looking. Even here, you would have that angle more like aligned with the fingers rotated. And then at the end, definitely you want some ambient movement in the fingers and the wrists. See that there's a lot of movement there where this feels very IK locked in a broken wrist there. It's cool though. I still like that shot a lot. It's very cool. Then <laughs> this cracked me up. I like it. It's just a bit chattery. If you look at this in the profile view, it's very stroby and poppy. Even this foot, when it comes up, feels very strong in terms of how we're here. And then it pops back, but then straight up. Like Even if it would pop back, you would have a broader arc back. This feels just a bit, a bit too sharp. And then here we almost lock here. See that? There's nothing going on, on, this, on from this view. So just watch out. And if you can, on something like this, and then that compression to have maybe a bit more of a foot roll. Or if that knee goes out this way, there will be a, maybe a banking of the foot pivoting off of here to feel that compression a bit more. That's my main thing. It just feels arc wise and spacing wise in the, in the legs a bit. Odd. I feel like there's a bit of a pop in that elbow here. You can see this here. It goes back, pop down, and then pops forward and then locks. And then the ears are a bit, bit spliny slow and soft. Oh, and then this doesn't quite make sense how they, they drag almost too late. See that now? Suddenly go, they suddenly go backwards on their own. So if you kind of get a side, this side, like, at what point is it just a drag overlap? And at one point, do you want it to be like uh, functioning ears where they listen, they turn, they might be emotional thingies or like Star Trek Endorian type of stuff? Anyway, nerd. Here's another one. Visually like that, I'm going to change that color. I feel like those knees are raw. See how that goes down? It's almost like you're getting into intersections and weird stuff where... And if, if I don't know, it's, to me, it's a bit strong in the hips. The loop doesn't quite work either. If you look at that, but that might just be just the overall clip where you have it. Yeah, the main thing that I'm feeling is it's just a bit broad. And if this goes down so far that it intersects and there's nothing really rotating here, having a squash. But if you're going that far, maybe, maybe again, it would bank out this way. To me, it feels like I would lessen the hips by half. So we don't have this much movement going forward. And then your arc on the arms, I think, okay. There's an ever slight feeling of this versus continuing that arc a bit. And there's some wobble in the head here. Whoop, see that goes forward, whoop, back. Whoop, 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 whoop. So this feels a, this could be a bit smoother. I just like that that costume and outfit. It's cool. I think I would smooth out some of the left, right, and forward and back on the run. Just a bit. It's literally a frame. It feels like we're hitting a few walls. It's cute. Are the feet sliding sideways? Here. Feels like you want to do a pivot off here, but we're sliding a bit too far to the left. And this one's okay. I would potentially get this one a bit more into the left. Instead of that straight down, a bit more to the left. So it's almost running like this. I'm exaggerating, but instead of straight down, 
So it's like the slower you walk, the more outwards your legs are for balance, and the faster you run, the more inwards it can be. It's not a hard and steady rules, but for creatures, it's it's applicable for sure. Not that you know this is a humanoid thing. I'm saying this is a creature, but I think in terms of running, it just feels almost odd to have that kind of visual curve. Where I will go more into something like that. And given that there's so much movement in its in its arms, her arms, wherever it is, I think we can have a little bit more side to side roll, which will then in turn roll the head a bit more. It feels a bit straight. I think we can have a little bit more. It's a fairly static run. It's not like it's it's out of control, panicky run, but I think there's a little bit of a stiffness in there because this is so long. We can have a little bit more left and right, just a bit. So give this a bit less of an Ike head or, or 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 a world space head look to it. But I see some hard stops in the rotations as well. If you look at the backpack, the breathing apparatus left right. So some smoothing out in uh, in some of these spacing moments there. Super cute though. Love that rig. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.